a lot of people wonder whether or not charity really does any good. Particularly when some of the latest high profile charities championed by celebrities seem to be saying, spend a lot on self indulgent consumer goods and we'll throw a few penny to the poor kids in Africa. The questioning gets particularly pointed when the expensive consumer electronics you're encouraged to buy to help the starving kids in Africa turns out to have been made by the starving kids in China working in factories for the worst wages in China. And when you're talking China, nominating the worst wages is quite an achievement. We've had dozens, if not hundreds, of worthy charities over the year, and yet poverty still exists. What's the story? What are charities solving if they're not solving poverty? Well, one thing they're real good at solving is guilt. Yes, if you live in an affluent country and don't want to face up to the fact that it's the way that you live your life is the problem, often donating 20 bucks to a charity removes all that guilt. But more and more, people are asking the question, is that enough? Well, the answer's no. And as always, Mr. Angry is here to help. I'm launching my own charity, which will be called Blurred Vision. It works quite simply. If you're feeling guilty, but not guilty enough to actually make some material changes to your exploitative life, just send me 20 bucks and I will come around to your house with a piece of 2 before and smack you in the fucking head until you've got a concussion. And then, when your vision's all blurry, you won't see anything wrong. Problem solved. Just send me your money, okay? In the interests of full disclosure, I should point out, I don't give any money to any charities. And that's not because I'm ideologically opposed to charities, it's because I'm a nasty, cheap bastard. Yes, I'm part of the problem.